Good morning, welcome. Santiago de Compostela Parish. We welcome the people joining us praying um, on our live stream and we welcome all the people here. Let's take a moment and um, greet the people around us. <clears throat> Today we celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows, a popular devotion that came from us from the Middle Ages and our gathering hymn will be a hymn attributed to this day, um, translated to English, will be 796 at the cross, her station's keeping. At the cross, her station keeping, stood the mournful mother weeping. Close to Jesus, to the last. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has fanned. Oh, how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. You are wood made flesh and splendor of the Father. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who willed that when your Son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering. Grant that your church, participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered and when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me. Make haste to deliver me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Be my rock of refuge, of refuge, 
a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead me and guide me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You, you will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary. Without dying, you won the martyr's crown beneath the cross of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to his, the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. He said to his disciple, Behold your mother. It's not just, here is your mother, as some translations have it, but behold, look at her. What do you see? It's a very good question. I suppose it depends very much on what you're looking for. Kind of like if he said, listen to your mother, what we would hear would depend very much on what we were listening for. The fact is that thanks to the wound of sin, there is a certain filtering that takes place deep in our hearts that seeks to determine what we see and what we hear to make sure that it doesn't challenge the right of first place to what we hold most dear. Children are great at this. Actually, adults are even better. We just do it more secretly. So Jesus says simply, Behold your mother. He knows we all have a special place for mother love in our hearts. And even if by chance we've had some negative experiences in that department, we all have an innate desire to give it to someone. So let us give it to Mary, whose portrait he has sketched so carefully in the scriptures. If we need just one example today, she's standing. She's standing for what? She's standing for each one of us in our absence or our half-hearted presence. So she may speak on behalf of each of us 
as a kind of universal mother advocate, defending us, interceding for us to the very last moment. Behold your mother, he says. In modern times, and I speak of hundreds, not just tens of years, she herself has been coming to us repeatedly. While at Guadalupe in 1531, she came as a woman clothed with the sun and the moon beneath her feet and crowned with 12 stars so as to take a stand anew against the apocalyptic dragon who raised his head in a most ominous way in modern times. And there she spoke with all the love and encouragement and assurance of a mother that we all so love to hear. Yet moving forward little by little, her visits bore a more and more somber tone and even a sadness, even with tears, even with bloody tears, as she says, behold your savior. Look what you are doing to him. Behold your mother, see her, not what you want to see. See how she has been appearing to us in more recent times. She is weeping at Kebejo in South Africa, well, in Rwanda, she is and wants to be seen as mother of sorrows. And it's not them that sadden her. We always wanna say, oh, look what those people are doing to you. No, it's us. We grieve her. At Kibeho, it was our lack of forgiveness of one another, which Rwanda itself revealed can lead to genocidal damage. If this re piece reminds us of anything, dear brothers and sisters, it is this. We are called God's elect in order to be co-workers like her in redemption. And the fact is, we have not stood with her. At Fatima, she gave us a great secret. It was simply pray the rosary and do penance, and the world will have peace. And the penance she intended, as Jesus told Sister Lucia later, was simple, the duties of our state in life, our little daily participation in the cross. That's it what he wants us to be doing for his kingdom at any given moment of each and every day. There is where his grace is waiting for us. And yet, it can be such a pain in the neck, can't it? From the time you hear your alarm clock go off in the morning. No wonder the devil so wants to have us in any other place than where God wants us to be the duties of our state in life. He knows well that grace is there, flowing like a river, waiting for us to pass it on to all the others so that all can be God's elect, his children. Behold your mother, standing where she has been assigned on behalf of all poor sinners, you and me, and all her children, and let us stand with her, beginning right now at this altar, going forward into this day and each and every day, forgiving as she asks us, as Jesus asks us to forgive. And then there shall be peace.
together with Mary, who knows what it means to suffer, let us pray to God for those who have heavy crosses to bear as we say. Our response, keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord. Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord. That those who are heavily burdened by sorrow and trials may find peace and comfort as they reflect on the sorrows of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord. That we may accept the sorrows and sufferings of life and discern God's presence in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord. That through the example of Mary, we may be patient in suffering and persevering in doing good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord. That in the midst of difficulties and trials in our everyday lives, we may discover the true meaning of Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord. That those who suffer through sickness may find Mary a true refuge and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord. For the Herrera, Herrera family and the Jacobo family and the Flores family for whom we offer this holy mass, as well as for the repose of the souls of Mateo Gallegos, Encarnacion Alforque, Rodolfo de la Cruz, Wally Cruz, and Elias Alvizo, for the sick, especially Josefina Carnejo, Jasmine Parraza, Daniel de Leon, Milton Tennant, Marian McGinty, and Jana Malabanan. And in thanksgiving, on the birthday of your wife, Allison Diesel. As well as for those intentions we carry in our hearts and those in the ark of prayer before our altar, we pray. Keep us faithful like Mary, O Lord. God of all grace, your plan for the world surpasses all our expectations. Keep us trusting in the power of your saving love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary whom you graciously gave to us as a most devoted mother, 
when she stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Pleni sunt celi etera, gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. On you stay, quit all is peccatum di miserere nobis. On you stay, quit all is peccatum di miserere nobis. On you stay. Quit all is peccat mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. when you share in the sufferings of Christ, that you may also rejoice exultantly when his glory is revealed. For those who join us via live stream this morning, let us pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her Son, we may complete in ourselves for the Church's sake what is laugh lacking in the sufferings of Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.
We will continue at the cross or stations keeping number 796, continuing at verse 4 after we pray to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who go about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Christ above in tormentings, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in misery so deep? Christ, dear Mother, to be can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain? In what mother's pain untold, bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. For the sins of his own nation, tumbling in desolation, Till his spirit forth is sent. O sweet mother, fount of love, touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with yours accord. Make me feel as you have felt. Make my sword to glow and melt. With the love of Christ my Lord. Holy Mother, pierce me through in my heart each wound renew of the Savior crucified. Let me share with you his pain, who for our sins was slain, who for me in torments died. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me. All the days that I may live by the cross with you to stay, there with you to weep and pray. This I ask of you to give. 